Hey guys, it's Clara from Online Fabric Store. You can make tablecloths out of many different fabrics from casual oil cloth and gingham to dressy sequins and satin. I'm gonna make this tablecloth out of poly poplin because it's very durable and wrinkle resistant. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are fabric, I'm using poly poplin, a ruler, scissors, pins, thread, a fabric marker, and an iron. First, decide what you want the drop length to be. This is the distance from the edge of the table to where you want the tablecloth to end. Drop lengths are generally about 10 to 12 inches for everyday use, or they can go all the way to the floor for a more formal look. I'm gonna make a floor length tablecloth for this table. Measure the length and width of the table and the height if the drop will be to the floor. This table is 61 inches long, 30 inches wide, and 36 and a half inches tall. I'll make the drop 36 inches so it's a little off the floor. Normal table height is about 30 inches. Finally, you have to know if you need a hem, and if so, what size. I'm going to do a half inch double folded hem. Add the table width, plus double the drop, plus double the hem. This is the total width you need. For me, that's 30, plus 36 times two, plus one times two, which is 104. The total length is the table length, plus double the drop, plus double the hem. For this tablecloth, that's 61, plus 36 times two, plus one times two, which is 135. If your fabric is wide enough for the tablecloth, simply cut one piece to the total length and width and move on to the hemming. If your tablecloth is wider than the width of your fabric, you'll need to cut more than one piece and sew them together. This fabric is 60 inches wide and the total width is 104, so I need to use two widths of the fabric. Instead of having a seam down the middle, it looks better to have a full width panel in the center with two narrower pieces on the sides. I'm cutting two pieces of fabric to 135 inches in length. Cut one of the pieces in half lengthwise. For more information on figuring out how many yards to get, see our article titled Measuring Yardage for a Tablecloth. Line up the selvage edges of the middle panel in one of the narrower pieces and pin together. If your fabric has a right and wrong side, make sure the right sides are facing each other. Sew with a half inch seam allowance. By putting the selvage edges together, there's no need to finish them further because they won't fray. If you do need to finish the edges, use a serger or a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Repeat the pinning and sewing on the other side to attach the other narrow piece. If you have a pattern fabric that you want to match up, See our tutorials on making a duvet cover or box pleat curtains to learn how. Iron the seams open. Measure the width of the middle piece and subtract that from the total width, then divide by two. This is how wide the narrow panel should be. For me, that's 104 minus 59 equals 45, divided by two is 22 and a half. Mark this distance from the seam in several places and connect the marks. Cut off the extra fabric along this line. Do this for both of the narrow panels. Fold the edge of your fabric in half an inch and iron. Then fold it another half inch and iron again. Repeat around the entire tablecloth. I'm doing a double folded hem, but there are lots of other hems you can do, like a blind hem stitch, or you can use fusible bonding tape. Some fabrics, like oilcloth, don't need to be hemmed. Iron all the way to the corner, then fold and iron the other side while the first is still folded. It looks best to do sewn or folded mitered corners. I'm gonna do the folded mitered corner because it's a little simpler. Unfold the corner and you'll see a grid created by the creases. Draw a diagonal line through the middle square and cut. Fold the cut edge down so the crease lines up with the bottom of the square and iron.
Fold in the sides once, fold the diagonal part you just ironed, then fold in the sides one more time. Pin the corner in place. Repeat for the other corners. Sew around the entire hem close to the inner fold and pivot at the corners. Make sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end. The tablecloth is now complete. By making your own tablecloth, you can get the look and size you want. We also made a burlap table runner and napkins to complete our table decor. Thanks for watching this OFS project.